to interrupt, but there is, there's a oh. lot of, um, well, I don't know. I mean, obviously you work, so you know, but from what I'm seeing, there's a lot of NHS staff who have took, you know, maybe two or one um, and they don't want to take others. Others, so like, and with the whole NHS 100K, um, like, you're looking at a lot more people, I think, than is being said, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. But no, no, you're right. And the, 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 what, what they don't they don't appreciate is the fact that not all the NHS staff have, vo have volunteered their vaccination status full stop. So some of them have just de de just declined to say, right? Mm. Uh, and also a lot of them have, have volunteered, which you can do as well. You can you can apply to have your medical records withdrawn from the Internet of Things so people can't see your medical records. So firstly, I'd want to know where they've got that information from, which because it means they'd have had to access my medical records, which they need permission to do. Um, so I want to know where they've got these figures from as to how many that, that haven't. The close figures, which were released, I think, by The Telegraph yesterday, we're looking at about 127,000, which is a lot more than what they're trying to let out to be. They keep saying about, oh, about 70, 80,000. Yeah. It's not, it's a lot more than that. Really? And that's, not, and that's not including the people that will leave who have seen the discrimination going on. And that's the other thing they don't realise is, and this is what my colleague said to me, and he's been working in Annie for years. He says, I agree with what you're doing, mate. He's, he's been coerced and harassing to having his, but it, you know, that's a conversation for another time. He says, I agree with it. I don't think it should be forced. He says, and also, why should I, when you get sacked, have to do all your work? So they've got That's no one point. to replace us mm. when we go sack when they go right. So if if why should he oh, stress okay. himself out <sighs> trying to do twice the amount of people's work because they've decided to sack us because they think we're a we're a danger and a health hazard to the patients. Mm. So they're creating the situation themselves, but they're trying desperately to make it our problem uh, because we know ourselves. Mm. They know. So they know how morally difficult this is for us to do what we're doing because I got into the NHS because I wanted to help patients and look after patients and look after manners and, you know, and try and be a good person. Um, so they know that us leaving this job, we, we do this job because we like it. It's a vocation. The pay is not great. All right. The hours are rubbish. Um, you know, it's you can see we always use it. We're always used it as a political pawn. You can see how quickly people's favor of the NHS you know one minute you're great next minute you're not mm. it's not an easy job so we're certainly not in this job for the kudos and the points you know um but we know that with us leaving the only people that are going to suffer are the patients overall and that that's what's hard about this and this is why they keep turning around and saying well as healthcare professionals you know you should want to get vaccinated and it's like as a healthcare professional i don't want you to get vaccinated because i know and have read or researched the the information but it's your choice mm. i mean it's like it's absolutely disgusting what's going on in the nhs um ah oh, it's an absolute travesty and if oh my days if um on wednesday i believe if it does go through i mean it's i i don't society's gonna fall apart i don't think they're like you're gonna you know fall down the stairs you won't even be able to barely get an ambulance it would be absolute chaos left right and center i they just they can't there mate 